The Justice Department filing a landmark lawsuit against Apple, accusing the tech giant of illegally squeezing out competitors to the iPhone. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has the story and what this means for iPhone users. Good morning, Pierre. Michael, good morning. It's an epic legal fight with DOJ accusing one of the world's most powerful companies of achieving its 70% dominance of the U.S. smartphone market by illegally manipulating technology. This morning, DOJ claiming Apple's supremacy in the smartphone market is rooted in illegal anti-competitive behavior that costs you more. According to DOJ, Apple uses a variety of illegal methods to maintain its dominance to try and force you to use the iPhone and its accessories alone, including making it more difficult for iPhone users to text with those who use other brands. As any iPhone user who has ever seen a green text message or received a tiny, grainy video can attest, Apple's anti-competitive conduct also includes making it more difficult for iPhone users to message with users of non-Apple products. DOJ also maintains Apple prevents companies from offering apps that compete with Apple products. And federal prosecutors say Apple blocks consumers from access to non-Apple financial services. The only financial payment service available on an iPhone is Apple Pay. This morning, Apple responding, claiming government overreach. Quote, this lawsuit threatens who we are and the principles that set Apple products apart. What DOJ is asking Apple to do appears at odds with the vision of its legendary founder set forth based on industry pioneer principles. People who are really serious about software should make their own hardware. Apple is accusing DOJ of setting a, quote, dangerous precedent where the government takes a heavy hand in designing people's technology. Guys? All right, thank you so much for that, Pierre. And Rebecca, what's at stake here for the consumer? Well, there are really big claims involved here, Michael. Really, what's at stake is if the DOJ wins this suit, the iPhone becomes more like the Android. There are more apps that Apple doesn't necessarily get to oversee inside the App Store. That iPhone is less a part of the Apple ecosystem and more a part of the overall ecosystem. But this is a tough case for the DOJ because they really have to prove that the consumer is not better off by having that interoperability. And a lot of consumers actually buy their Apple products specifically for that purpose. So when you text somebody, it won't be green, it'll all be the same. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's one of them. That's how you Tell the difference which friends had Androids and which ones have iPhones. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.